Standard disclaimer, I tend to go off on tangents, so content warning for my entire channel. Also, I am not an expert on anything I talk about. I'm just an internet troll explaining his view of the world. Throwing it back to more recently recorded me for the actual episode. Welcome to Hymnal Poetry. It is me, the Wombat Alter Boy. Did you ever look up some half-remembered lyrics only to find the song they're from as Jehovah's Witness propaganda? No? That's not normal? And you can't respond to me through the screen? I see. This is very troubling indeed. To be fair, I don't know if Mies is a witness, but this is very conservative Christian stuff at the very least. David Meese is a prolific Christian music writer who wrote the song for his eighth studio album, Chronology, in 1988. Let's dig into Falling Down. Lord, you know I've tried so hard to do the things I should, in everything I say and do, and all things that I could. But the world keeps calling me, and time and time again it seems, before I know it's hitting me, I've let you down again. And I'm falling down, you know I'm falling down. I don't understand why I keep losing ground. But every time I do, if I look up to you, then I'll stop falling down. Yes, I'll stop falling down. Because of you. People say they understand. They don't try to put me down. Lord, you know it rips apart the witness that I have. How I wish that I could be the man that you want me to be. But you know that's impossible if I try without you. And I'm falling down. You know I'm falling down. And I don't understand why I keep losing ground. But every time I do, if I look up to you, then I'll stop falling down. Yes, I'll stop falling down because of you. You know what? Say what you want about Christian music. At least it's usually short. At least if it's shit, you're not going to be listening to it for a very long time. You know, this song's actually pretty insidious, because if you don't know Jehovah's Witness doctrine, it doesn't seem so bad on the surface, so let's actually dig in here. Our problems start with the line, but the world keeps calling me. In Jehovah's Witness doctrine, worldly things just mean anything that doesn't fit the Jehovah's Witness religion. So you shouldn't have a worldly girlfriend or worldly friends unless you're trying to convert them into your religion, which is just a messed up worldview. Yikes. And then we go into, before I know what's hitting me, I've let you down again. The Jehovah's Witness religion is super fundamentalist and sort of totally against doing anything fun. Like, they put out a children's video that recently that, among other things, reminded people that it's not good to eat cupcakes at a birthday party. So yeah, pretty much everything you do is gonna piss Jehovah off. You, you really can't win this fight. You're, you're not even supposed to wear tight pants. But if you want to hear more about this stuff, I suggest looking up Telltale, his, uh, his videos on the Caleb and Sophia series of children's propaganda are top-notch. This prohibition against worldly friends is actually expounded on in the second verse of the song here. People say they understand, they don't try to put me down. Lord, you know it rips apart the witness that I have. He sees people not insulting his religion as a threat to his religion because he needs to be persecuted for his religion to work. If worldly people aren't going to persecute you, then there's nothing wrong with associating with worldly people, so the prohibition against worldly people would be bad. Can't have people thinking that. But the line that really pours the ashtray into my Pepsi is how I wish that I could be the man that you want me to be, but you know that's impossible if I try without you. Look, I'm, I'm not here to get into a theological debate. I consider myself a Christian, but here's the thing. If you literally believe you can't do anything without God's help, you're actively removing your own agency. That's bad. And I would ask you to examine that belief, because I bet you can think of tons of shit you did by yourself, without any help from anybody. You have agency, and your actions matter, okay? You should question any group that tells you that you can't do anything without their help. Just a little tip from me to you. That's really all I have to say about this song. You guys have a good week, and we'll see you here next time. That's the show. If you like what I do, why? Also, share, like, and subscribe. If you really like what I do, I'm still not understanding why, but you can leave me money at my Patreon, which will be linked in my description box. Remember those? That's what those are for. If you don't like what I do, make sure to down-thumb this video.
because it drives engagement. See you next time.